through, Gabby. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having an awesome day today. Hey, today I'm going to show you guys how us poor people will move a bale of hay around bale without a tractor. I've done this before. Works really good. I want to share it with you guys. Um, I put a, a video out in the past about it, but it's been like a year or two ago. And a lot of you guys weren't around back then, so now I'm going to show you all how to do it. So, so if you guys got some round bells like I do back here behind me, uh, I'm going to show you all how to move that without using a tractor. Um, all of us don't get free tractors, do we, Daniel? <laughs> My buddy Daniel from Orange Family Homestead, uh, I actually worked out a deal to get some free equipment out on his place to use. Um, so I don't have that option, so I'm going to show you the option I do got. Yeah. Now, whenever they now whenever they build this hay, um, they always make it just a little bit smaller. Um, that way I can handle it by hand because I don't have a tractor. So I'll show you guys trying to flip this over, putting on my little sled over here. That's also, like I said before, uh, going to be my round bell feeder. I'll show you guys that too as I get it set up. It's getting dark on me, so I'm going to try to hurry up. What's up guys, it got dark in a hurry. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this bell off here and I'll show you guys putting this uh, makeshift round bell feeder that I've made on there. I'm gonna show you real quick how I got this on my hitch. Just got it up there, you'll see. I just got it on my hitch just like that. You can see it kind of bent, uh, bent it a little bit, but it's no big deal. All 
I just got a piece of rope, and uh, it's actually it's actually a halter for the for the sheep. I already come over and check it out, and I just tie around here at the bottom, and uh, then I'll weave it through back and forth through this uh, uh, cattle panel and uh, string it together. Yeah. And that's all there is to it. And what I did is I cut squares out. I took one out so there's a bigger head right there so they can't get their head stuck in there. You can see. And I did that around there. That way they can, they can get their head in there without getting it stuck. And it saves on hay big time. You can see another one right there. But here they all come. All right, I'm going to back my truck. I'm going to get my truck out of here and see if I can get them eating some of this to show you guys what I'm talking about. It works awesome. All this is a cattle panel I cut some holes in, use it for the shed, and use it for them to use it, uh, not to waste a lot of hay. You guys can see it's getting dark. You guys can see it's working awesome. Um, if you all want to see a better video, um, a better close-up of this, I can come out here tomorrow or something. Just let me know down in the comment section. Yeah, let's get a little bit better look at that in the daylight. Um, it's getting dark. I need to get it done. I thought I might as well try to film it for you guys just so you can see. <coughs> excuse me. Just so you can see how I do it. This works awesome. I'm telling you, if you guys are looking to cut back on waste in a very inexpensive way to make a feeder, I've used this for a year or two now. I'm telling you. It, it cuts down on the waste big time. The sheep can't get in there and pee on it, poop on it, and get hurt by it falling over on them. It just sits right there, and uh, you can see them they're going to town on it. All right, guys, hope you guys liked this video. If you did like this video, don't forget, smash that like button for me if you would. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And click that little bell down there for notifications. I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.